Hi and welcome back to our Spinner Build Series. Tonight I'm finishing up some 120 volt outlets in the van and it occurred to me that um, I haven't showed you that part of the system so let's take a look. It's actually pretty simple. This is our electrical box that is in the rear passenger side or passenger corner of the van and it houses all of the electrics for the van. So we have a 200 amp hour lithium battery under here. We've got the inverter and then we have all the disconnect, solar charge controller, breakers, all of that. So this inverter I chose because these are supposed to be good quality. It's a thousand watts, which is all I need to run my small microwave and charge laptops and run my little electric kettle that I use for making coffee in the morning. So this serves three different purposes. It's an inverter to turn our 12-volt uh, battery power into 120-volt AC for running those appliances. It's also a battery charger, so if you hook this up to 120-volt shore power, it'll charge the batteries. And it's also a transfer switch, and what that means is when you plug it into shore power, it automatically uh, connects your... 120 volt receptacles that are in the van so that they don't come off the battery. They're fed from the shore power and it engages the battery charger to charge your batteries. So the way I have this set up is I have 120 volt NEMA plug wired onto the end of it and it goes into the inverter charger. So if I were to take an extension cord and plug this into a standard outlet, it would start charging. And it would, again, through the transfer switch, it would provide power to the outlets. You'll notice that I had it plugged into an outlet back here in the corner, and that's because I have 120 volts being fed from the alternator through a second inverter. Um, and that's to charge my batteries um, when I'm underway. And I did another video on that which um, I will link up above. Another thing to note is I have a label here that says 120 volt AC breaker inside and that's a reminder to myself that when the power comes out of the inverter I have it running through one of these blue C breakers um, but in order to save space I actually have that breaker located inside this box so if that were ever to blow I would take these two screws out and then I would have access to the breaker. So from there, from the breaker, then the 12 gauge three strand wire comes, comes out of the unit through the breaker and then it goes up and over the back doors out to my outlets. So it goes up and over the rear doors, it comes back down, and it comes out down here, and it goes up and feeds first outlet, which is right here. So this is a, hard to tell, but this is a duplex a GFCI outlet, and if you take, if you run a GFCI on the very first outlet, then if you have it connected properly, then all the other outlets downstream of this one will also be GFCI protected. So I have three duplex outlets that are all in series. So the wires come out of this box, they go through the wall, which I have exposed right now, into my second outlet and you'll notice you know it doesn't appear to be GFCI there's some stickers I need to put on there actually that indicate that it, that it is and then the wire comes back out of this one and it heads to the front where I have one more up by the galley I had to get a little creative in mounting these boxes because I've had trouble with these boxes these are just flimsy and I don't like plugging something in and having the box flimsy so I have them supported in the back. 
there's probably a better way to do it, but this is the only way I could come up with. Attaching it to the 8020 is really easy. I just put a couple holes in the side of the box and put a T-nut in the slot and then just bolted it straight up and that made it really firm. There's nothing complicated about hooking up the 120 volt outlets. Um, the outlets are labeled on the back. It tells you what color wire uh, goes to what terminal on the back and it'll indicate line and load. And so line is coming from the source and load is going out to the things that you're going to run. And I'll link everything that I used uh, in the bottom of this video and it's also um, in our store on our, our caravan.com. But we use this Ancor marine wire and I like it because the wire itself um, is, well it's braided and it's good quality wire rather than I wouldn't recommend using a uh, solid wire but there's insulation on each wire and then there's a heavy jacket around the whole thing and in addition to that uh, I wrap the wire in uh, an anti-abrasion uh, cord I guess that I've used for pretty much the rest of the van and, um, and it's got the standard household colors the white, green, and black. So that's pretty much it on hooking up the 120 volt side. Um, it's really pretty simple. As always, thank you guys for watching and we'll catch you next time.